how farmers raise and harvest millions of rabbits. Rabbit meat processing in factory. Hello everyone. Today we'll visit a quiet, unique farm, a rabbit farm. Does your country have farms like this? Well, rabbit farming in Europe is often done on industrial scale. In this video, I'll give you a brief overview of the rabbit farming and meat harvesting process. Rabbit farming has become a popular industry in the United States, with many farmers capitalizing on the demand for rabbit meat. However, one farm in the U.S. is taking things to a new level by raising rabbits at an unbelievable speed. This farm takes pride in its ability to produce fully grown rabbits in a remarkable short period, leaving many in awe. So, what's happening? Stay with us until the end. The rabbit farming industry is global, recognized as a sustainable and profitable agriculture project. This includes raising rabbits for various purposes such as meat, fur, research, and pets. In addition to economic benefits, rabbit farming also provides advantages like efficiency land use, low environmental impact, and high nutritional value. In this rabbit farm, the health and well-being of the rabbits take top priority. Housing options for rabbits range from simple hutches to advanced systems such as wire cages or dedicated rabbit buildings. The primary purpose of providing housing is to protect rabbits from harsh weather conditions, predators, and diseases, while also offering a suitable environment for their development. Ensuring proper ventilation in the rabbit hutches and maintaining good hygiene practices are crucial to prevent the spread of diseases and ensure the optimal growth of rabbits. The farm owner also supplies clean and dry bedding materials, such as straw or wood shavings, to absorb moisture and create a comfortable resting area for the rabbits. First, they spread a layer of wood shavings to create a hiding place for the rabbit kids. Next, they proceed to collect sperm and artificially inseminate the female rabbits. This seems to be a somewhat painful process. After approximately 30 days from insemination, the female rabbits will give birth. Female rabbits can give birth multiple times a year, contributing to the development of the rabbit population. This high reproductive rate is an advantage for farmers looking to maximize production and meet the market demand for rabbit meat. The selection of rabbit breeds often requires careful assessment and consideration of specific traits that align with the desired goals of rabbit farming activities. For instance, if the primary focus is on meat production, Farmers may choose rabbits with rapid growth rates, efficient feed conversion, and desired meat quality characteristics. In the case of fur farming, rabbits with thick, glossy fur and the desired coat color would be preferred. Similar, for research purposes, rabbits with specific genetic traits may be chosen to meet the requirements of scientific studies. During the first three weeks, rabbit kits are nursed by their mothers. In the second stage, from 30 to 70 days old, the rabbit kits are weaned. During this period, they learn to eat fresh and high quality roughage. High quality roughage such as hay is a crucial component in the rabbit's diet, providing essential fiber to maintain a healthy digestive system. Additionally, the fiber in roughage helps continuously grind down their teeth and prevents dental issues. Pelleted processed feed for rabbits is designed to provide supplement nutrients that may be lacking in roughage. 
These pellets are carefully processed to meet the specific nutritional requirements of rabbits, offering a balanced mix of fiber, protein, vitamins, and minerals. It's important to choose high quality feed that doesn't contain excessive carbohydrates or fats to maintain a healthy weight. Phase three is the young rabbit stage. When rabbits are 70 to 100 days old, at this point, male and female rabbits are separated and those meeting their criteria might be selected for meat processing. The next stage is the fattening phase where rabbits are 100 to 120 days old. Their diet becomes diverse and nutritious during this period. Fresh vegetables and fruits are added to their diet as a source of essential vitamins and minerals. Hygiene is also crucial in the rabbit farm. Strict adherence to procedures is necessary to prevent the spread of diseases and meticulous attention to cleaning and disinfection is essential. This ensures not only the health of the rabbits, but also influences the quality of the meat produced. Here is a cleaning system for the rabbit cages, providing an optimal living environment and saving significant efforts for farmers. This helps create a healthy air environment. Effective waste management strategies, such as composing or using rabbit manure as fertilizer, help reduce environmental pollution and create nutrition-rich soil. Rabbit manure is an excellent organic fertilizer, rich in nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, benefiting soil health and plant growth. Successful farms worldwide employ these methods for sustainable development. The journey of these rabbits concludes around 120 to 130 days old when they begin harvesting rabbits that have reached their desired weight. The rabbit slaughtering process at a modern facility is carried out swiftly and effectively, starting with transferring the rabbits to a processing area safely and gently. Before entering the slaughtering process, rabbits undergo a basic health check to ensure meat quality and compliance with strict hygiene standards. They are then introduced into the processing system to prepare for the slaughtering process. A common method in the rabbit slaughtering process is the use of electrical stunning. Rabbits are placed in a restraining device and a mild electric current is applied to quickly induce unconsciousness. This technique saves time and minimizes stress for the rabbits before they're actually slaughtered takes place. After the rabbits have been stunned, they are slaughtered and skinned carefully with the removal of internal organs. The rabbit meat is then inspected and packaged to prepare for the distribution and consumption process. If you're interested in owning a rabbit fur garment, these are luxury fashion pieces that reflect elegance and sophistication. Rabbit fur is meticulously selected to ensure the highest quality, offering a variety of color choices from natural tones to sophisticated dyed versions. Skilled artisans craft these rabbit fur garments from the processing of rabbit fur to the detailed sewing process, creating a unique, handmade masterpieces. Attention to detail and artistic craftsmanship ensures that each rabbit fur garment brings about perfect and exquisite beauty. Additionally, they provide a warm and comfortable feeling on chilly days. Thank you for watching the entire video. Before concluding the program, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos.